Hey guys, Rodney Walker here with Grand Central USA. You know, I'm so happy to get a chance to share with you once more some more information about what it really means to be a grant writer. And I promise you in this time that I'm going to be sharing some information with you and actually sharing with you a technique, a strategy that you can use to kind of break into this industry quickly. And I'm going to share with you a little bit later on how I've been able to help others to get jobs quickly into this by sharing with you one special technique that I'll share with you a little bit later on. But just in case, you know, we haven't had a chance to connect yet, I'm Rodney Walker, Grant Central you saying, I've been doing grant writing since 2006, and I've been doing it at a very high level. I've done it independently as a consultant, where I had a business and I was doing it, and then I also had a team that I was doing it. And then I started doing trainings all over, helping people to learn this skill, and we've raised millions upon millions of dollars. And I'm excited to get a chance to share with you because maybe you're just starting out and maybe you're new and you're saying, okay, Rodney, I want to learn how to do this as well. You know, maybe you've had that itch, the same itch that I had back in 2005 where I was kind of itching and wanting to learn this. And really before 2005, to be, be honest with you, at, when I first got started, I didn't know what I was doing because I actually kind of was working for a nonprofit organization and decided that I was just going to write a grant proposal. You know, I said, okay, great. You know, the organization I was working with, we had a contracted grant writer. And that contracted grant writer that we had, she was not willing to really share any information with me about what it took to write grants. So I eventually just kind of dove into the process myself. And needless to say, I fell flat on my face when I was doing that. But eventually, let me tell you what happened. Eventually, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go, let's go grab a seat. And I'll tell you some of my story. Eventually, I ended up taking a class and taking several classes and reading several books and decided, hey, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to really learn this. And like I shared with you in the last video, I said a lot of people never get started because they had three things that often would prevent them from learning the skill. I said, first, many people love fear. And then I said, secondly, some had indecision. And then I said, thirdly, some just simply procrastinate and never get around to it. I've talked to people that literally have waited years five and some seven and ten years of wanting to know how to do this but never actually ever did it so I, I really don't I want to encourage you not to be one of those people and I really want to encourage you to make sure that whatever you do that you learn the skill so that you can break into this industry because it's a fascinating industry now here are a couple of things I want to share with you that are really important that I think can really help you and especially helping you as you kind of start looking at doing this as a career and breaking into this. Now, what is a grant writer? I kind of talked about this a little bit in the last time. Just to kind of recap, a grant writer is somebody who is a fundraiser. Most of their fundraising efforts, though, are being done by writing proposals and submitting those proposals to potential funders. And a proposal is simply that what you're proposing to do. It's you saying, hey, if we get the money, this is what we're going to do to as an organization. So let's, let's kind of grab a seat over here and let's kind of talk about this a little bit more. So that's what your role is when you're talking about doing things as a grant writer. Now, when you look at it, a couple of things happen. And I want to show you kind of what those couple of things are. First, here's one of the things that happen. As a fundraiser, you're actually raising funds for that particular organization. And a part of that entails you describing the story of this organization of what they're doing and what they plan to do and what they will do if they get funded. Now, in addition to that, that role of a, of a grant writer is actually finding the right funders that would be likely to give monies to your potential organization. And typically, if you're doing a foundation proposal, that proposal is roughly about eight to 10 pages long, mostly about eight pages long or so. But if you put, if you have a way with words and you've ever written a paper that's been an eight page paper, that's pretty much what a grant proposal to a, to a foundation is. Now, if you're doing a government proposal, those proposals can be a lot longer. They can be 10, 20, 30, even hundreds of pages long. But most likely, if you're just starting out, most likely you'll most likely be doing a foundation type of proposal. Now, with that said, how do you break into this field, Rodney? And let me share with you the quickest way. I've said the last time in the last video, one of the quickest ways is to simply get started. 
get the information, learn the information, take a class, read a book, give your give yourself a shot at this, uh, get mentored, go through one of our programs, go through somebody else's program, get just get started. Don't allow procrastination to keep you from moving forward. Secondly, <clears throat> once you get the skill, then you've got to start knocking on the doors of potential funders. And I'm just going to assume right now that you are on the road to learning this skill or gaining and acquiring a skill. Well, how do you get a job quickly in this industry? I promise you that I was going to share with you one trick or one technique that you can use. And this technique is called the informational interview. It's simply where you go to a funder or a potential organization that you're thinking about working for. So if you're thinking about working for a job, you scout out some nonprofit organizations that would be of interest to you. And then once you find those particular organizations, then you do what I call the reverse interview. And by being a reverse interview, instead of them interviewing you, you're interviewing them. Sometimes you call it an informational interview. And it's simply you identify an executive director in an organization and request an opportunity to interview them. You call it an informational interview. It can go something like this. You can say, hey, listen, I'm interested in possibly doing uh, fundraising or grant writing for nonprofit organizations. I was wondering if I can interview. And if they give you the time, sometimes you can interview them on the phone, maybe even in person, and ask them questions about what fundraising looks like for their organization. And what's it like to be an executive director? What's it like doing fundraising? What's it like, do you guys do any grant writing? What's it like within your organization? And then let me tell you the interesting thing that happens when you do informational interviews. Oftentimes, the person that you're interview begins to have a bing, an aha moment where they begin to say, you know what? Maybe this person that's asking me these questions can be our grant writer or can do grant writing with us. So two things happen. One, you get a chance to sneak into the industry that way by working with an organization. And then secondly, sometimes they may even offer your job. I can't tell you how many of my friends have done this simple technique. And before you know it, they're working for some of those organizations. So that's one strategy that you can consider trying, using, and seeing if it works for you. At the worst case scenario, you're going to at least get some valuable information that can help you on your journey. So I want to encourage you, if you're really thinking about doing this as a career, don't sit down on it. If you've ever written an eight-page paper, and many of you have done it for college, for schools, for your business, for different things, this is a great way to kind of get started. And if you're doing this as a career, let me tell you some of the the upside of, of doing a career in this industry. One, since you're doing grant writing, writing is done on your computer, and it can basically be done almost anywhere. Okay, that's one of the things that I loved about it. Secondly, I love the impact that it could have on so many people because once you begin to learn the, the skill of gathering money, and trust me, every single nonprofit organization needs money. You become a very valuable person to these organizations because you have something to offer them. You have the ability to help them to secure funding. So that's the second thing. And another thing that's really cool about this industry is that once you get this skill, you begin to roll it out in different ways. Now, let me stop for one second. You right now have skills right now that you probably are sleeping on or probably unaware that you have that already contribute to being a grant writer. For instance, if you've ever done any research, research paper, research for any type of project, that's what a grant writer does. They do a lot of research to unearth the money. So that's a skill that you already have. And sometimes when you're going to these interviews, even though you may not be right now already in the industry, you can let them know that you have extensive research skills. Okay. In addition to that, if you've ever done a lot of writing, this is another way that you can show them that you already have experience. Now, maybe you haven't gotten the experience to write your first proposal yet, but, but begin to give it a stab. And it only takes one proposal. And once you've written one proposal, you've done grant writing. So I think the big thing that I want to say to you today to help you is just get started, okay? And when you do so, you'll find that you'll be much farther along down the road versus simply thinking about it, hoping you would do it. Take action, my friend. When you do so, things begin to happen. Now, I'm excited about the comments that you've been leaving in the social media area, uh, Facebook and our Get Funded 
group and all the other places. I want to encourage you, if you find this information I'm sharing with you helpful, just go leave a comment, a like, and, and share the information with others. And I look forward to sending some more information your way. Now, in the next video that I'm going to do, I'm going to be sharing with you some other tips and some other strategies that I've used. And one that I've used to kind of create more space for myself in the grant writing industry and some things that you can do as well right away that can help you. So make sure you keep an eye out for my next email and then I'll be sharing some more information with you. Until we talk, my friend, take care. All the best. I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.